All right, my dear children of class 11 science, uh, we will now derive a very, very important relation, which is actually important for your derivation. Okay, and the, uh, the topic that we are going to derive is the relation between CP and CB for an ideal gas. Now, you know, CP you have learned as molar. What is this? This is molar specific heat. This is molar specific heat at what? constant pressure at constant pressure okay and you know cb means same cb means molar specific heat at constant volume molar specific okay heat at constant volume constant volume Okay, now as for the definition is concerned, so when I use the word molar, it is for the mole of the gas. This is basically for what? Per molecules of the, per mole of the gas or per one gram molecules of the gas. Okay, now basically when uh, we write this particular part that is Cp and Cb, we as we know have defined this molar species heat as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one mole of a, a substance or it's basically we are dealing with the gas okay through one degree celsius or one kelvin okay so that is the statement of what molar specific heat at constant uh molar specific heat but you know molar specific heat can be defined under two different conditions one is at constant pressure another is at constant volume means one is by keeping the pressure constant another is by keeping the volume constant but basically this relation which we are going to derive is for ideal gas and you know ideal gas is a perfect gas which follow um, uh, Boyle's law, Charles law and gas equation and even Poisson's law. Okay. Now ideal gas is out of as a what system. So ideal gas is out of our system. Now for this particular system ideal gas we write the relation between Cp and Cb. And this relation is very important so that we can make some conclusion from this relation also. Okay. Now Cp as per the definition can be even written this way also. dQ by dt at constant pressure. Constant pressure. And this is for one mole. I'm just writing this is for one mole of and what gas? Ideal gas. So for one mole, if I take one mole of an ideal gas, the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one mole of an ideal gas through one degree Celsius or one Kelvin at constant pressure is defined as Cp. So Cp can be numerically written as dQ by dt, where dQ is the heat supplied. So I'm writing dQ as the heat which is supplied. And dt is the rise in temperature. Rise in what? Uh, we can write simply a rise in temperature. Rise in what? Temperature. Okay, rise in what? Temperature. So if Cp equals to dQ by dt, then I can even write as dQ equals to Cp into what? dt. Cp into what? dp. So let me just give this as say, equation 1. Just giving this as what? Equation 1. So dQ equals to Cp dt. Similarly, similarly, I write down Cb and this is also called molar specific heat at constant volume and is also defined in the similar manner is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature one mole of this ideal gas through one degree celsius or one kelvin when the volume remaining constant so mathematically we can even write this as dq by dt but this relation is true for one mole mole of what gas of an ideal gas Idle gas, okay, at what? Constant what? At constant pressure. Sorry, not constant pressure. This is at constant volume. So from here also I can write this as dQ equals to Cb dt. So let me just give this even as equation number 2. Okay, now from here I can tell you that this relation which we are going to derive is by taking one mole of what gas? Idle gas. So children, let me take one mole of an ideal gas. Suppose you have a gas out here, and this gas is only for what mole? One mole. Suppose you have one mole of what gas? Idle gas. Any idle gas. 
okay now this gas is already acquiring a pressure and that pressure is say p and this gas already acquiring a volume and that volume is b and even the temperature absolute temperature that is what t so this is any ideal gas okay for what how many mole one mole and this already acquiring pressure p volume b and temperature what t okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to heat this gas i'm going to supply heat to this gas so in such a manner so that we raise the temperature of this gas by a very small amount a very very small amount okay so when i in increase the temperature of gas by very small amount okay by supplying the heat to this gas so we see that to increase the temperature by a certain amount we keep the volume of the gas constant we keep the volume of the gas constant on other words even we keep the pressure of the gas constant means we do separately so first of all we keep the volume of this gas constant and we supply the heat to this gas by raising the temperature of the gas by certain amount and you know when any system is heated when the volume of the uh, system remains constant is also called isochoric process that means there are two processes you have learned one is at volume constant or, or when the volume is constant that is called isochoric process another is when the pressure is constant called isobaric process so to arrive at the relation we uh, follow what two processes one is called isochoric process or known as called isobaric process now first of all what i do i take this gas as i said already we have taken the gas now we supply the heat to the gas okay but i supply heat to this gas keeping a volume constant so the first case is that i keep the volume constant and i supply the heat of to the gas but with this heat which is supplied to the gas the temperature of the gas should be raised and the temperature of the gas suppose be raised by dt means this amount dt is very very small amount of temperature raising temperature and this is called infinitely small amount of temperature and this temperature tends to zero change in increase in temperature tends to zero but not equals to zero so even if you increase the temperature by a very very small amount dt the heat which is supplied to is also very small and that heat which is supplied to the gas i consider as dq so children this quantity i am writing dq dt this are the differential form okay this are the differential amount or we also call infinitely small amount of or so that quantity which tends to zero but not equals to zero so if dq be the with the amount of heat supplied amount of what heat supplied so if dq be the amount of heat supplied then to this gas when the volume of the gas constant so that the temperature of the gas be raised by dt then definitely there will be no work done on the gas you know there is no work under the gas because when the volume remain constant work done by the gas is simply zero so children as i said already when the volume of the gas remain constant that is called isochoric process the work done by the gas is simply zero no work is done by the gas so this is the only process where the work done by the gas is simply zero okay now to express the relation so children we follow first law of thermodynamics we follow first law of thermodynamics and the first law of thermodynamics has two different form so i write down from first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics and children there are two form of first law of thermodynamics so one is q equals to delta u plus w okay and another is the differential form of first law of thermodynamics which is given by dq equals to du plus dw so this is actually called differential form of first law of thermodynamics so children look at this relation differential form this is the differential form of first law of thermodynamics okay so out of this two form i write down i use this form because as for the consideration we are doing we are taking the change in temperature by a very very small amount so if the temperature of the gas increases by very small amount then the heat supplied to the gas is also very small and the work done by the gas is also very small but under this case dw is zero no work is done by the gas so that means dw is zero and the heat which is supplied is dq but you know dq i have already written at constant what uh, volume and the value is cbdt see dq means cbdt so i think this is from equation 
2. So dq equals to cb what? dt. So what I do, I substitute this value in the relation. See, now dq means how much? cb dt. See, this dq means cb dt equals to du plus dw means what? 0. So again, I got one important relation that is cb dt equals to du. And I'll give this as equation number 3. So under this condition, when the volume of the gas remains constant, Cb dt can also be written as the change in what equals to the change in internal energy of the gas. So this is at constant volume. Now similarly, I do at constant pressure. Constant what pressure? Now basically, you know, constant pressure means for what process? This is for isobaric process. See, this is for isobaric process. Now what I do, I take the same gas, see I will take the same gas, that is one mole of gas, one mole of what gas, same ideal gas, okay, which is already at constant, at, which is at pressure P and volume B and temperature T. Now what I do, I supply heat to this gas, and how much amount of heat I supply, it's the same amount of heat, that is dq amount of heat, I supply to the gas. Now I raise the temperature of the gas by dt. I supply heat to this gas till that time when the temperature is to dt. But this time I keep the pressure constant. I keep the what? Pressure constant. Pressure what? Constant. So the same gas, if I heat, heat it by the same amount uh, to raise the temperature by dt by keeping the pressure constant. So under this case, the gas would expand. So what happened? The gas would what? Expand and do external work against the pressure so this gas would expand and do external work against the pressure okay so when there is expansion of this gas means definitely the volume will increase and that volume say increase by say delta db so expansion of gas takes place by a very small amount so with the increase in volume is taken place by db okay and when there is an expansion of gas takes place the work is always done on by the gas Okay, the work is always done by the gas, and that work done is equals to w, dW. When the pressure is constant, so I don't dW equals to P dB. So children, look at this part. Work done by the gas under this condition is given by dW, a very small work done, because to increase the volume by dB, a very small amount. So dW equals to P dB, because the pressure is constant. But out of, not only the work is done by the gas, okay, because the temperature also raised by supplying the heat. So the heat supplied to the gas when the pressure is constant is given by Cp dt. So this is equation 1. We have already got the relation dq equals to Cp dt. So dq equals Cp dt, dw equals to P dB. So for this also we write for first law, that means the differential form of first law thermodynamics. And you know what is the differential form of first law thermodynamics? dq equals to du plus sorry dw so this time also i substitute the value so what is dq cp dt du plus no dw means pdb dw means pdb so cp dt equals to du plus pdb so like okay let me give this even as equation number four so children i got two more equation that is equation three and equation four under this two condition. Now children, under this two condition, if you keep the observation carefully, you can see that in both the condition, okay, the temperature of the gas is raised by the same amount. That means the temperature change is same in both the processes. And you know that for ideal gas, the internal energy of an ideal gas depends only on the temperature. That means the change in internal energy is also same in both the processes. So when the change in temperature is same, the so change in temperature is same in both the process, the change in internal energy is also what? Same. Which means from equation 3, if we see du, that the change in internal energy equals to Cp dt, and equation 4, du, Cp dt equals to du plus P dp. So what I do, I replace this du in, I put du from equation 3 in equation 4. So I replace this du by Cp dt in equation 4. So children, as I said already, I replace du by Cb dt from equation 3. Now Cp dt equals to du means Cb dt plus Pdb. 
this is equation 4 but I replace du from equation 3 as CB dt now I'll take this CB dt in the left hand side I call it in the left hand side so CP dt minus it will come in this side means left hand side minus CB dt equals to PDB now see what is common in the left hand side dt so I write down inside the bracket CP minus CB dt equals to PDB okay PDB now let me just give this even as equation number 5 just giving equation number 5 but children we are actually dealing with one mole of and what guess idle guess so for one mole okay let me write down for one mole of and what guess idle guess and you know for one mole of idle guess there is a relation PB equals to RT see this is actually called idle gas equation children this is called idle gas equation and you learn in details in the next unit okay idle gas equation now ideal gas equation is nothing but the relation between pressure volume and temperature and this is for any mole of the gas but we are dealing with one mole of gas that's why we write pb equals to rt okay now if this is one mole then r is a constant this is called molar gas constant okay now what i do uh, i differentiate this equation now now i do differentiating equation differentiating so i'm using calculus again differentiating both sides both side by keeping what I'll differentiate both side by keeping pressure constant keeping pressure constant so P and B two are these are the two uh, function one is pressure is cons uh, from one function and B is another function R is constant T is another function okay so when I differentiate this equation by keeping pressure constant so I do write this way so first function that is p differentiation of second function db plus second function b and the differentiation of first function means p but pressure is already constant so i write down zero equals to r differentiation of dt just children this part you need to understand okay so actually i am following this part d by dx of say u b equals to u db by dx plus b dvu by dx but we have two variable one is constant one is constant so if differentiation of any constant is what zero differentiation is constant is zero so this du is zero just like p is constant that's why differentiation of this p, p, uh, p is what zero so finally you can see p db equals to r dt so p db equals to r dt so can I replace now this PDB as RDT in equation 5? Yes. Just see. I replace it by equation uh, in equation 5. CP minus CB with DT equals to. Now yes. This PDB is what? RDT. So I replace it. RDT. Now this DT, DT cancel out. So finally we see the relation. CP minus CB equals to R. Yes. A very very important relation for idle gas okay as a system and that is cp minus cb is always equals to r and this r is called universal or molar gas constant so the required relation is cp minus cb equals to r but children i'll tell you the fact that cp is always greater than cb because of this factor because if i take if i make cb as the subject from here then it can be written as r plus cb and this quantity will be definitely greater than what to each other if the cb is certain value then cp equals to r plus that quantity and this r is always what more than one okay so that's why cp is always greater than cb but there is a reason why cp is greater than cb and that you learn in the next youtube video